Hi there. Today I'll run through an analytics scenario that includes sales data and page views from a retail website. The complexity here is that this data is spread over multiple sources, uh, namely a MySQL database for the retail website application that I'll be reporting from, um, and also a blob storage account uh, where the page view logs are being collected. Now, I, I don't want to set up an ETL pipeline to move data from these sources into a data mark for reporting because this is just going to add additional latency and really my intention is just to get a very simple real-time snapshot of sales data as it relates to web page views. Okay, so this is where the Presto engine is very useful. So um, just a quick background here. Presto is an ANSI SQL compliant big data engine and specifically built and optimized for analytics workloads. Um, it can plug directly into existing big data services like Apache Hive um, to retrieve metadata information. Um, so it can work seamlessly with your existing big data ecosystem. It has data federation capabilities, which is very useful in the scenario I just outlined because it means that I can join data between my MySQL database and my blob storage account in a single SQL query. Um, so Presto has this capability natively. As you can see here, um, by default, Presto is working with the Hive Metastore, and this, in this scenario here, is actually running on Azure Database for MySQL servers. Um, but I can also connect in any one of these additional sources. So a variety of different RDBMS connections, NoSQL connections, even uh, real-time streaming processes like Kafka. Um, so we have that flexibility. Um, and on the Hive side, um, it, depending on how I've got my data set up in uh, the object store, um, I mean, I could have it on ADLS Gen 1 or 2, Blob version 1 or 2, um, in a variety of different formats, depending on what my requirements are. Um, I can have all of that data joined together, as I said, in a single query. Okay, uh, so the demonstration that I'm running today is gonna actually be on Power BI. Uh, so to get Power BI up and running um, in Kubel, you need firstly a Kubel account. So what I've actually got here is I've got my Power BI desktop already opened. And um, so I said we need a Kubel account. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, but for the, ODBC, for the ODBC capability here from Power BI, Kubel actually has an ODBC driver built specifically for our API. So I already have that installed over here. Uh, so as you can see, there it is there. If I look at it, it's pre-configured to connect to my Azure environment, uh, the cluster that I want to interact with, and then my identity tokens. So any commands that get executed via Power BI, um, I'll be able to track within Kubel, um, and obviously they'll be tied to me. Uh, so that's all good. Um, also, when it comes to Power BI, you're going to want to have the latest version of Power BI installed. Uh, as of February 2019 release, Power BI actually includes the Kubel Presto connector. So let's have a quick look here. Uh, so there it is there. Um, that allows you to interact with a Kubel Managed Presto cluster in direct query mode. Um, we also support using the basic ODBC driver that comes packaged with Power BI. And um, depending on what your analytics requirements are, you could use either of these. Um, the performance is identical. Uh, I will say that the benefits over each one, I mean, Kubel Presto, like I said, direct query mode, so it's very useful if you're looking to bring in your individual tables and uh, manipulate them with the DAX language. Uh, whereas the straightforward basic ODBC driver, um, if you were a SQL savvy user and knew exactly what queries you wanted to run, um, that would be the better option then. Okay, so with all of that set up, let's take a, a bit more of a closer look at the example here. So, firstly, um, so we just have a, just a simple series of, of dashboard reports here uh, where we're doing a little bit of analytics and data exploration on the use case that I mentioned. So on the first page here, um, this is all about getting information about the orders. So 
on the back end here, this is actually um, running in MySQL. So these queries, when I execute them here in Power BI, Presto is executing them, but it's actually pulling the data from MySQL. So it does query push down. It lets MySQL run the query itself and then pulls the results back. And so, you know, we can get a very simple uh, series of, you know, data here. In this case, we're looking at total orders. Um, we're looking at order status, you know, um, by uh, status type, as you can see. And we're also looking at the top five products sold by status type as well. So again, this is all just off of MySQL. If I wanted to take this a step further and do a little bit more exploration and, and start comparing sales versus views, that's where we can start looking at the next page. So over here, um, just to kind of outline the difference, we firstly have a top products viewed. So this um, is actually reading data from the blob storage account. So log data is being streamed into a blob storage account. Um, we have created a hive table uh, on top of this uh, log data. Um, and then, you know, just with a single query, we're basically looking at uh, total page views by product. So we're pulling the product information out of the web log and then just getting a total page view count. Uh, separately, we're just also looking at the top revenue. Again, this is now querying the MySQL database. Um, and we can get a, an indication of the top 10 products uh, by revenue, total revenue generated. Um, but now the great thing about Presto is I can combine the two of those together and that's what we're looking at down here. So if you look here, we have the top revenue and page views by product, the detail level information, as well as an associated graph. So as you can see, I can now correlate total revenue generated by products um, and also set, uh, tally up how many page views that, that took. So uh, I can use that information for marketing purposes. Um, the nice thing about this is that this is a snapshot point in time. I'm not using this for any type of financial reporting. This is purely just a, what is my situ what does my situation look like uh, with my my retail website as in um, you know as of this very minute this is as near to real time as possible um, and I can literally just keep refreshing this uh, and getting a, an updated snapshot of, um, over time um, if I wanted to I could take this even a step further and start uh, doing more advanced analytics uh, we won't cover that over here because now we're starting to talk about running machine learning on Spark to say correlate. Uh, top two products viewed together. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I would take this step as an additional step if I was trying to, um, you know, maybe make some decisions on where we can focus advertising and recommend, recommending products. So, for example, if a, if a customer is looking at, you know, this item here, uh, because so many of them also look at this other item here, um, I might start having that as an auto suggestion. Um, okay. So very straightforward. I mean, this is a you know, simple use case. Um, the really nice thing about this is because it's now Power BI, I can obviously publish this out um, to uh, a number of different, well, I can publish to aptopowerbi.com um, and share it out to multiple users, even outside of Kubel. Um, and it's very, very simple to update because all I really need to do is just hit this refresh button here and you will see uh, there are, what is that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think, uh, queries executing, something along those lines. Um, and these queries, now this data is being refreshed here, but these are actually queries that are executing against uh, a Kubel Presto cluster. So if we quickly change views again here and take a look at the analyze page within inside Kubel, um, I will actually see those queries running here. Now, some of them might actually have have finished already. In fact, they already have. Um, let's just go and hit refresh again, just to uh, uh, show you the running queries. Uh, hit refresh here. I mean, they take really quick to run. Okay, so there you go. So uh, I can see all these queries now running in parallel. Um, so all getting simultaneously updated. I can go along here. I can see you know what the detailed queries look like. Um, if I wanted to, um, as you can see, in fact, this is, I'm glad I clicked on this one. As you can see here, this is actually um, the query that is joining the retail sales orders to the web log information. So uh, in a single 
uh, SQL query. So if I know how to code SQL, um, I can do something as very simple as this directly. I mean, obviously I can do the same thing using um, uh, DAX language as well. Um, if I was using the, the Kubel's uh, Presto connector inside Power BI. But in this case over here, just for illustration purposes, you can actually see um, that I'm querying from this retail DB, which is a hard database, uh, that web logs table over there, which is what I said before was built on top of the web logs table or data, I should say. Um, and we're just doing a simple join uh, to a MySQL database, which we've defined um, inside Kubel. Um, and this catalog is automatically available for uh, the Presto engine to be able to access. So, you know, once I start up my Presto cluster, I can start, you know, running queries uh, that uh, traverse multiple sources. Okay. Um, so that was about it. Um, so thank you very much for your attention and that's, that's all for now.